In this chapter, we'll have a quick look on how to enable marker streaming. And in order to do that, we need to go back into Phase Shift Studio and in its pre and preferences. And we can see here that currently there's no markers and then no marker set defined. So we could either go into Edit and define our own markers, or in this case, I'm actually I've done that already, and I'm just going to load up an uh, existing marker set. You can see here that we have 48 markers in here. So with that set, we go back into Motion Builder. And once again, we add the device to the scene and we create, uh, you set it online and create model binding. And as you can see now, we actually have objects for the markers um, that we can use for rigging purposes. And we can also see here in the marker tab that we have markers streaming in. Um, in this case, they're all numbered. They should uh, get the uh, marker, uh, marker names that you defined in phase shift. And here on the property tab, you can also see that here's all the data. Um, markers can be a little bit more tricky to use for rigging. Uh, so we're not actually going to cover a full rig with this, but at least you have the option and this is how to do it.